Hi everyone, it's Benitez here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's WTF episode, I'm going to share with you all how you can retrieve a random video from a YouTube playlist. For the agenda, I will talk about the idea followed by the use case. Then I'm going to explain the prerequisites and what you need to understand regarding the YouTube API service. And then I'm going to talk about the logic applied before we jump straight into the demo. This idea was originally for last year's Microsoft MVP advent calendar, which is organized by Megan Walker. It didn't go ahead. And yeah, I've decided to make this into a WTF episode. Right now, we are all experiencing a global situation because of you know what. And right now, there are a number of organizations where their workers are working remotely or hybrid type of environment. So half working remotely and half coming into the office. And when we're isolating indoors, motivation can be quite low. You know, it's very hard to feel enthusiastic when you have to isolate indoors. And I wanted to come up with something that would bring, you know, some companionship, some team effort, some motivation again amongst the team. And I came up with the idea of grabbing a random video from a YouTube playlist so that we can help motivate each other, even though we are all working apart. Now for my playlist today, I am using a workout playlist. So a way of motivating people to move their bodies, even though they're not, you know, going out and about. And the playlist that I'm using today is from Mr. and Mrs. Muscle. This is not sponsored by them. I simply like their videos. Now, if you wanted to use educational content, so sharing a Microsoft Power Platform video from the Power Platform YouTube channel or a video from the Dynamics 365 YouTube channel, that's fine as well. If you want to have more fun, then maybe you could share a cooking video so that you could do something like Cook of Fridays, where you could do a team building, you know, cook for fun on a Friday after after work wraps up and yeah so that's the idea is to use youtube and motivate each other as a way of bringing us together even though we're apart okay so in terms of the use case it's i want to share a random video from a playlist on a weekly basis to help educate or motivate my team so that they can learn or feel motivated for the prerequisite you do need a google developer account and then you need to create a key in the Google Cloud platform to use the YouTube data API service. I have a QR code here, so just scan it with your phone and it will take you straight to the site. In terms of the YouTube API request, the one that I'm using today is called playlist items and we are going to use a get method. Now over on the right hand side is a button and when you click on that try it button, it's gonna bring up the YouTube API Explorer. So you can play and experiment with this before you implement it in your own platform of choice. Okay, so like I mentioned, you do need a key for authentication purposes to call the YouTube API. We're using the get methods. We're going to get a playlist and within that playlist, we're going to grab the items. In other words, the videos of that playlist. And then we need to provide some parameters. So the first one is a required parameter, which is a value of part. Now this part is a string parameter and the string that we're going to provide today is snippet. In that snippet property, there's going to be some information that we're going to use as part of sharing the random video to our colleagues through Microsoft Teams or even Slack. The second parameter is called filters and in here I'm using a playlist ID. Now the playlist ID is when you only want to grab a single playlist, which is what I'm doing today in today's demo. However, if you need to retrieve more than one playlist, then use the ID string value as your parameter. For the optional parameters, I am using max results and page token. These two are important to understand because when you are retrieving videos from a playlist, there could be hundreds or thousands of videos in a playlist and the maximum number of videos that you can return for each page is 50. So if there are more than 50 videos in a playlist, that API request is going to have to call the next page to grab the next lot of videos 
of that page in that playlist. And that's where the page token parameter comes in handy. The page token is basically a like, like a password or, or let me in so that I can go and access the next page and grab the next lot of videos as part of that playlist. So the logic that I'm applying today in my Cloudflow is we're going to use an HTTP request action and we're going to loop through each page and for every page we're going to retrieve a random video and then we're going to append it to an array and then we're going to use the next page token value so that we can grab the next page and grab another random video from that other page and this is pretty much a repeatable exercise until we get to the very last page when we've got our array of random videos from each page then we're going to select one random video and that one random video is what we're going to share with our teammates or with our colleagues to help motivate them and feel enthusiastic. Okay. And I've put together a diagram so that it's helpful for those who are visual learners. Pretend that there are 180 videos in a YouTube playlist. This means that there's going to be a total of four pages and for every page it's going to retrieve a maximum of 50 videos until it hits the last page. All right, so for page number one, we're going to grab one random video and then we're going to use the next page token value so that we can go ahead and retrieve the next page and then grab another random video and so forth until we hit the very last page. Once all pages have been looped through and we have grabbed a random video, we then are then going to create our array. So in here in our array, we've got four random videos and from those four random videos, we're only going to select one video, which is then going to be shared to our colleagues and peers. So without further ado, let's jump straight into the demo. All right, so what I'm going to show you first is the Google Cloud Platform. This is what it looks like. I've created a project already and I've created my key and that key is what I'm going to use to call the API. So with the YouTube API, as I mentioned, there is an API Explorer, which you can use today. And when you call the API and you provide the details such as, um, you know, the part and the, and the max result, in other words, the 50 pages, you can then go ahead and perform that request and you can have a look at the different responses returned. And yeah, once you're good to go, you can then go ahead and build your Cloudflow and Power Automate. So this is my Cloudflow and the trigger that I'm using is a flow button. Ideally, you should be using a scheduled trigger so that this can run on a weekly basis. But for the purpose of this demo, I'm using a flow button. My next action is an initialize variable action where we're storing the next page token value as a string. And so that's, that's because the HTTP request needs to use, well, it needs to grab the next tech, it needs to grab that next page token value so that it can go grab the next page in that playlist so that we can get our next random video for that playlist. Okay. The next action that you're seeing in here is another initialized variable, but this time I'm using the type of array because we want to create our array of videos. If you think back to the diagram that I had in my PowerPoint. Okay. The next action that we're working with is the do until action. This one's self-explanatory. So the do until action is going to keep doing what has been defined in the action. And so in my use case, we want to perform the actions within the do until action until we've hit the very last page. And we know we've hit the very last page when there's no next page token value returned in the response. Okay. And as I mentioned, we are using an HTTP request action where the method is get recalling the playlist items, API requests from the YouTube service. And then in terms of our parameters, we've got a page token that's grabbing the next page token value. And then we've got our required parameter of part. So I'm grabbing the snippet of the response. And then we've got our optional parameter of maximum results, which is 50. I'm providing the playlist ID and then I'm also providing the key so that this request can go and call the YouTube API service. 
Now the next action is where we are going to store the next page token value. So I'm pretty much saying go and put it to my next page token variable so that when we perform this do until action again, it's going to use the next page token that I would have stored up here. Okay. The next one is we are grabbing a random video from my page that I've retrieved as part of this HTTP request. And we're going to append it to the array so that in our array, we've got our collection of random videos from each page in the YouTube playlist. Outside of this do until action, I have a compose action for explanation purposes only. In here, I'm gonna show you when we run this Cloudflow that it has retrieved random videos from each page. And then in this compose action, I am grabbing a random row in my array. And that random row is essentially our random video that we're gonna share with our colleagues and our peers to motivate them. And the way I'm sharing my video to my colleagues and peers is using an adaptive card that I'm gonna post as a flow bot to a Microsoft Teams channel. I have talked about adaptive cards previously in other WTF episodes. I'm gonna quickly show you again what it looks like. So in here, you're seeing a list of samples and templates. There is a product video sample, but if you do use it with Microsoft Teams, you're gonna experience an error, and that is because it is not supported today in Microsoft Teams. The one that I am using is activity update. And when you click on the try it yourself button, it's gonna show you the adaptive card designer with this sample applied so that you can go and alter it to how you want it. This is what my adaptive card looks like. I'm keeping it simple. I've got a message in here. I've got a image that is essentially a thumbnail of the YouTube video. And then I've got an action in here where if they click on it, it's gonna take them to the YouTube video. Going back to my flow for this particular action, in here, this is where I am inserting the URL of the random video. And in here is where I am inserting the video ID that's gonna form the hyperlink to that YouTube video so that when any of my colleagues click on that button, it's then gonna launch YouTube and it's gonna take them straight to that video. All right, let us see this Cloudflow in action. So I'm gonna run my flow now. And after it runs, I'm going to show you that the array has grabbed a random video from each page. And then I'm going to show you what that adaptive card looks like. Okay, so this is my compose action. So let's check out the outputs. And as you can see, we've got two random videos, which means that this playlist had um, around 100 videos because two pages were retrieved. And for each of those two pages, two random videos were selected. And then in my compose action, we can see that we've only selected one random video from that array. And now if we go to Microsoft Teams, we can see my random video that I selected that I have now shared to a Microsoft Teams channel. So now when I click on watch now, it's going to launch the YouTube video. And voila, that is pretty much my WTF episode for today where I'm showing you how you can use Power Automate Cloud Flows to grab a random YouTube video from a playlist so that you can share it with your peers, your colleagues, you could do it through Microsoft Teams, you can do it through Slack, and that's as a way to get motivated and feel connected as part of this global situation that we're all experiencing today. I hope you like it, I hope you learned something new, and if you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next WTF episode. Bye! Turn it up. Let's go. Let's go.